Babe, come on. It was just a joke. Do you think I don't know you hook up with men? I've seen the texts. I mean, my grandma could have figured out your passcode and she's dead. But my boss? We're done. Don't say something you're gonna regret. Let it penetrate, Dundee. We are over. You messed with the wrong girl. I want you out of my apartment tonight. You know, this is bullshit. We'll talk when you calm down. Out! <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for coming to the party tonight. Uh, we're gonna wrap things up now. So have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday, okay? Oh, you can take the, the glasses with you. Just add them to your home collection. That's, that's totally fine. All right. Great job, boss. Alicia, that was not at all what it looked like, okay? How do you do it? How do you always come out on top? I'm usually not the top. For years, I've covered for you. I've defended you. I've watched you take credit for my work. What do you do for me? Uh, well, let's see. I hired you when you were a part-time kickboxing instructor. I've promoted you twice. And I'll always be eternally grateful for that. But you're one selfish son of a bitch. All you think about is your pay. Your needs, your success. You know what, Alicia? You're really stepping out of line right now. So your jailbait boyfriend dumped you. Boo fucking who? Do you have to bend over for the first dick that comes in your path? You shut your mouth. When we first met, I was lost. Lonely. You took a chance on me. This was the first job I could introduce myself as Alicia. That was everything. But then I finally found love. You know how hard it's been for me to find someone that accepts me as I am. Marco may be a slut, but he was my slut. I'll never forgive you for taking that away from me. Alicia. Don't forget, take your kids to work day. And uh, Mr. Foster called about the Jim Hardy lawsuit. Oh, you got a phone call from somebody named Candace? She was very rude and did not leave a message. Has Alicia come in yet? She didn't respond to me all weekend. I haven't seen her. Do you want me to call her? Hey, guys. Oh, uh, we have 20 energetic kids waiting in the cafeteria. We Hi. need to start the activity soon. I'll be right there. Yeah. Move. Um, I was, I was thinking about what happened at Alicia's party. Alicia, yeah, well, where's Alicia? I don't know, that's a million dollar question. Uh, Alicia? Alicia? You asked me to come to you if I had concerns about Mitch's ability to lead the HR department. That's why I'm here. I think there are some things you need to know about Mitch. Ah, yes. Give me a break, you're distracting me, and now I lost my son. Matthew! Matthew, where are you? This is not funny, Matthew. Mommy is not in the mood for games. Matthew! Little shit. I knew you couldn't stay away for long. 
Oh, not. I'm with Connor now. Can't do that. It, no, wait. Connor's a guy's name. Yeah, you're, you're seeing a guy? Yeah, he's like super possessive. But hey, do you have a job here you could give me? I'm broke. Mr. Fossils, what happened to you? Hey, little man, are you lost? No, I've been here before. Oh, oh, hey there, we're about to start the first activity. What's your name? I'm Matthew. Oh, hi, I'm Matthew, I'm Sarah. Why don't you follow me, come on. You told me that you were into girls now. Yeah, but then Connor and I went out for burritos yesterday and it was like, really cool. Be really cool. Mitchell? Oh, figures. Snaking away with the Twinkie of the day, business as usual. Candace, what are you doing here? Who's she? She is Candace Jacobson Gross, Mitchell's wife. What are you? Mitch? Dad! Hey, buddy! Gross! My office. Now.